Okay. Turn me up a little bit. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the meat stall. I'm back at it again with a brisket flat. It's time for doing it on the Traeger. Went in with some trimming. Got a discoloration off from uh, the Cryovac bag. And here's what she looked like after said and done. There's still a little silver skin left, but that'll melt in the cook. Johnny's all Jew French dip. They say go two to one. I thought it was quite salty, so I added a little bit more to my tasting. Uh, binder was uh, Lee and Perrin's some Whiskershire sauce. Dalmatian rub, two to one. I use that because I want to do a pepper brisket. And here's how she looked when she's done. Next time I think I might back off the pepper a little bit, but uh, it came out pretty good. The next morning I took her out of the freezer, went out to the uh, Traeger and put it on smoke setting, let it go for like four or five minutes till she was ready. Uh, after four hours in the smoke, I think I went from six o'clock to 10 o'clock. Here's how she looked come along pretty good I took my Traeger brought it up to 250 that's what the temperature I'm cooking at today and I said okay let me get a meat thermometer inside this thing now so I put my meat thermometer in and my meat was at 134 mind you I put the meat in cold as well I'm trying some new uh, pellets uh, Bear Mountain pecan pellets I chose pecan because uh, it can go through a lot of genres of meat so that's why I picked out Got the brisket coming along pretty good. I'm like 164 right now. I'm caught in the stall. I'll probably take it out, wrap it up with some uh, beef broth, and bring it on up to 203. Over here on the kettle grill, I'm just doing some boneless uh, chicken legs. Come along pretty good. All right. Here's the end product with the brisket. It came out, I uh, brought it up to 203, let it rest a little bit, and went in with slices. I, can't, I just cut the slices probably about a little bit thicker than a pencil. I was very pleased with the end product. The smoke ring was killer. The bark held on amazingly. I cut it and I did the hang test. I was very satisfied. I ate a little piece, but I didn't eat a lot because it was for the customer and I didn't want to eat his product. But uh, like I always say about this time, this is the meat stall. Find you some meat and smoke it. Okay. Turn me up a little bit.